Hey guys, it's me again. Sorry I haven't uploaded in such a long time. I've just been really busy with school and so many other things that I've just never really had the time for making videos. But I'm back, and today I'm going to talk about the plan, the planned Brightline West project. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, Brightline West is a proposed privately run high-speed rail service service between Las Vegas, Nevada, and Los Angeles, California. The project is intended to provide an alternative to air and automobile automobile travel in, between Southern California and Las Vegas, a popular vacation spot for many living in the region. Construction on the route is expected to begin in spring 2021 and enter service in 2024. All right, with that out of the way, let's begin. So, we'll start in at um, at Union Station in downtown Los Angeles, and uh, for the first few miles, we'll head eastward through uh, Alhambra and Rosemead and El Monte, which will be all on existing track. At El Monte, we then diverge onto a series of viaducts over a ravine. The reason I the reason I chose to go over this ravine for this segment of the route is because the other option um, would be to put the Brightline West tracks with the San Bernardino Metro line, Metrolink line, which has a lot of single track seg segments that can't be double tracked. So I figured uh, it would be much easier for the Brightline trains to go in a completely different uh, alignment. Alright, it would be better for them to go on a different alignment than having to share the extremely tight um, single track lines with the metro links. Alright, oh, anyways, we then head further northeast through Baldwin Park, Irwindale, Vincent, and Covina, and eventually we rejoin existing track over here at San Dimas. And we then head through La Verde, La Verne, uh, North Pomona, Claremont, Upland, and eventually reach Rancho Cucamonga, which is a planned station for Brightline West, by the way. And then, um, we then continue north along the median of I-15 as we proceed to head up through the Cajon Pass and eventually reach the high desert. So for the next few miles, we continue in the median strip of I-15 as we pass by Hesperia in downtown Victorville. Eventually, uh, we'll diverge off of the 15 and continue paralleling the highway up to the next stop, which is Victor Valley, which will be located right here, which is located pretty comfortably in between Barstow and Victorville. Alright, for the next seven, 170 miles, we continue along the I-15 right-of-way through the mostly barren Mojave Desert all the way to the Nevada state line. And then after a few more miles, we then reach Las Vegas Station, which will be located in between Blue Diamond, uh, Blue Diamond Road and Warm Springs Road along South Las Vegas Boulevard. And um, as you can clearly see, I am currently in the works of a possible route for an extension to Salt Lake City in the future. And yes, I will do a video on it soon. Anyways, this was just my interpretation of how the Brightline West route should look like. I know for a fact that the High Desert segment will be mostly in the median of I-15, but as for the segment from Rancho Cucamonga to Los Angeles, I honestly have no idea. Um, the idea of 
of the line going over a ravine may never end up happening, but we'll just have to wait and see. Alright, anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. Please hit the subscribe button and click the like and share this with your friends. Until next time, see ya later.